This is my first live video, live Facebook, live anything. I had never done this and I'm a little bit nervous. My friends and my family know I can talk to anybody, I can talk to a stump. That's how they say it and I, I'm a little bit nervous today because I've never done that. Uh, welcome to my studio. Today would have been our start open house, uh, which obviously didn't happen. And I thought it was a good weekend to meet you all and share with you what I have been doing in the past um, month in captivity. <laughs> I have my very good friend and assistant behind the camera, Jana Stefan. We did use our PPE coming to starts today and kept a safe distance from each other, but she volunteered to help me with this video. And I also have a cup brought by Jana saying that every hour is a happy hour, so hopefully it's four o'clock here in Indianapolis. I hope somebody, my son is watching me from Stuttgart. It's very late there, but obviously here we can have some wine. So, um, I think the idea of this live video, obviously we are bombarded now by live videos, by live um, performances, by shows, by everything. Um, on. <laughs> uh, we, and I thought ideally, I mean, I probably should get on the back and work with that too, on, the, on, on, on that, and I was working on online uh, on some online uh, site for my paintings. Of course, I have a website, and I thought, you know, I really don't want to be this faceless person on any, on Etsy, on Saatchi, on zillions of other website sites for artists. So I thought every painting I create is a, it's a story. It's a story how I created it, and it's a story uh, how I connect with my customers with each of every one of you and I need to figure out how to do it now in our virtual reality and our virtual world. So this is the start. Just 40 minutes before um, I was going to go live, a friend of mine contacted me and said, do you want to do Zoom instead of live? And I said, well, I, I, I didn't know how to do Zoom with so many people and how to get everybody on board. So. Please send me your ideas and in your comments, please uh, give me a feedback on this. And of course, Jana is again behind the camera and I will show her to you later. Yeah. I will, and um, uh, she will tell me your comments or anything. So, and again, send me email messages and let me, give me your ideas about um, what I can do better and what, how can I uh, succeed in this new reality we are all living in. Of course, my um, main art is my livelihood and my main um, means of presenting my art and selling my art are art fairs, are open houses, and I absolutely love doing those. So obviously they all have been canceled until probably September and we will be lucky if those will go on. But I do believe that every, every challenge presents new opportunities and hopefully uh, this will create a lot, I mean, it will, it, will be, it will come through a lot of creative people and a lot of creative artists for all, all this situation. Anyway, well, obviously I have been very busy in the past month. I dressed up today for the first time and that was also kind of very interesting, very interesting <laughs> endeavor. I thought, wow, I haven't put my nice shoes for this season at all. And there was, I thought, what if police stops me on the way here and asks me, where are you going, lady? <laughs> because nobody's supposed to go and be dressed up this day. So that was kind of interesting. That all these interesting sensations and interesting interesting feelings, right? I'm sure all of you experience. And I'm showcasing a scarf by my friend Sylvia Gray, who is my friend, and hopefully she's watching us as well. Susan and Jim are here. Yeah. Thank you. And, <laughs> um, 
it's a, it's a beautiful uh, piece of art. Actually, Sylvia and I did paint a couple of plein air sessions when we stayed in a um, safe distance from each other. And anyway, this is a piece of art, which I also decided it was a very good occasion to put it on. So anyway, in the last month, I kind of did a lot, a little bit of everything. I did some watercolors, oh, uh, uh, always some location, but I ventured more into oils because I'm really kind of drawn to moving paint a little bit more. And I will walk you through first to my to, to my recent work and what I have been working on, and then maybe we will we'll have a little shot around the studio. Uh, obviously, all these paintings are for sale, except for my commissions, which I already spoken for. Please contact me. I will give you a really good deal on the paintings. I don't want to sound desperate, and I'm not, but obviously I want to paint more, and I want to find homes for my paintings, which I don't have too many venues for that at, at this point. Even my gallery in Bloomington is closed, mm -hmm. but they are putting a show online, which I will update you, of course, uh, about um, I mean, when it goes on. So I think the first painting, which I would like to showcase, is my New Indianapolis piece, which I um, painted just a couple weeks ago from a photo I took just before pandemic, and I guess the name of this painting, Indianapolis before pandemic. Yeah, Everything Sabrina. was already, who is it? Sabrina. Hi, Say Sabrina. Hi. Sabrina. <laughs> so, um, uh, it's Indianapolis before pandemic. It was, everything was already eerie about the city when I painted this painting. You see a ballet guy, there are people unloading into the hotel, but it was just a couple of weeks before the city was shut down. Uh, last weekend, I think, actually, I did go to, um, I grabbed my paints and I decided to go paint plein air and I thought, wow, that would be such a great opportunity now to paint. I can park anywhere, there's no crowds, no, uh, no distractions, but then I realized that the city is dead and I really, I like to paint hustling and bustling of the people, of the city, cafe scenes, street scenes, and without it, like, Indianapolis was lifeless, so I came into my home studio and painted this piece. And I already actually, a um, couple of people purchased the print of it. So the prints of this piece are available, and obviously the, uh, the original as well. This is also one of my latest pieces in oil, which started like a watercolor. But, so this is one thing which I, I do. I sometimes now I paint, watercolor on canvas and if I want to get into it a little bit more I painted it I add to it oils uh, sometimes uh, as you all know if you talk to me before watercolor is an immediate medium and you should leave it alone and not um, really not touch it anymore so oil allows me to achieve a little bit I, I guess more what I want to say if I feel like I do not want to disturb the beauty of the watercolor, which was there. So the piece behind me is my newest commission uh, for a, of a restaurant in Montreal with the family coming out of this restaurant. I'm still working on it. This was my little watercolor sketch for this commission. Uh, and I'm working on the oil, and again, I'm always very uh, critical of my commission, so I was going to work on it more, maybe even do another version just to challenge myself, and that's an oil. But Jana, my my friend and assistant, Jana came today, she said, wow, I love that painting, that's beautiful. It definitely still needs some um, uh, work still on the sky maybe, but, and I will see if I do want to put some more time into creating a different version of it. And another commission is here. And that's kind of a very funny story about this piece. You probably you have been in my studio for the last two, three years, and I had a big oil piece, uh, the, the first version of this. Uh, obviously, it's a little bit out of, 
my whole kind of stands out of my whole body of work of street scenes and people and florals. So I don't know why, but I, I didn't sell it for three years, two or three years. And the, our last open house in March, a couple came and purchased my painting. And just two days later, another couple of customers of mine called me and inquired about the same piece. So now I'm painting a commission of it. So it's kind of lucrative art businesses. You never know what you, uh, what, how, how you're painting and when it will connect to the right person. Do you still have people? Who yeah, 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 yeah. Dan just um, checked in Everybody, and said, so and Susan's here. Thank you so much for being here for, with me in my studio. By the way, I'm not supposed to be at Stats. You know, Stats is closed for business, but we are allowed to come and check on our studio. And uh, that's what I have been doing once in a while. I came and made sure everything is okay. There's no mice in my traps. Actually, <laughs> they are also social distancing. And I just, sometimes I just need to come in here and feel the, the space, which is my creative space, and regain my balance. Jean, Jen Marie says, hi, Anna. I hope we can see each other again hi, soon Jen. in Germany. We love the piece you painted for us on commission. Oh, that's so sweet, Jen Marie. <laughs> and then Jim Martin says, wow, that ocean painting is fabulous. Thank you, Jim. After all, you didn't go to sleep, I guess. Um, Bryce says, hi, Anna. And Paula Wilcox is here, and she says, hi. Wow. I'm so honored, guys, for all of you to to be here. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's just... So anyway, going further around, the, the, around my studio, again, I, I'm so thankful to Jana who is standing behind the camera. Uh, maybe I'll show Six you feet away, now. I did it. Oh, I can flip the camera. Yeah, here I am. Uh, it's I'm really doing a magnificent job. Now I'm not as nervous anymore. I had some wine and I'm more relaxed. <laughs> that you guys are here, so it's amazing. So, uh, you know, every time you come to my open houses or my art fairs or anything, I always try to surprise my, my audience because I think it would be very boring to come to every event and see the same paintings. And of course, I've been very lucky of being able to sell a lot of my work, so I could paint more work, so every time you come to my studio, I want it to look new. So, but today, in, in addition to new pieces, which I also will share with you, uh, other, other small new pieces, I brought some older work, because I just actually, in addition to painting paintings, I have been painting walls in my house. I've been very busy with pandemic, with this, with our <laughs> pandemic situation. So I actually brought some of my older pieces to my studio. Uh, and I decided maybe I'm ready to part from those pieces. So and th this is pieces from Stuttgart. So this is a painting of Galatia, one of my favorite landmarks in Stuttgart and the view of Stuttgart. Uh, I don't know if I'm ready to part with this piece yet because I, um, I it, it was in the big, in the major Indiana exhibition at the Indianapolis Museum of Art a couple of years ago. And my favorite church in Stuttgart, Feuersee, um, a sea of fire. Uh, I painted this piece on location one September, uh, I think October Sunday morning. It's one of the most beautiful time to go and be by the church, hearing the bells, seeing Stuttgart Terrace out on the mo Sunday morning walk, and it just uh, always gives me an amazing feeling. This piece, I do like this piece, but I, I. Maybe we'll put it on the market now because I want to paint another piece next time I go to Stuttgart. And also I need some more wall space in my <laughs> house because of the collection I collect of other artists. And actually maybe another live video will be from my home where I will take you from, through a collection of paintings I buy, which I do. The third piece of Stuttgart is here too. And it's the piece which I also painted on location in Stuttgart, and it's in a Mont Repu, my rest. It's one of my favorite pieces, and I actually had a conversation about this it's piece beautiful. with a couple of people from Stuttgart, 
about selling it, but now I'm looking at it and I'm thinking maybe I will make an oil version of it mm -hmm. as well. But it was also done on location. I have a lot of memories from this uh, area, including when Toby one time fell in the water and I <laughs> followed him into it accidentally. It happened on that lake and it's a very, very deep lake. So these are my kind of um, old but still new one. I said, when I go back and I, uh, I, like I said, somebody was inquiring me from Stuttgart about this piece and I went back into the pictures remembering when I painted it and I thought, wow, yeah, I remember this day and I want to do it again and maybe I should do it now, try to use this watercolor as a sketch and do a big oil painting. Another two of my newer pieces are these two statues. The Jesus on the right hand side is not finished yet, kind of I brought it here, I worked on it at home obviously and I brought it here because I wanted um, really the style and everything to match my Venus which is on the left hand side. Uh, I'm always fascinated by statues, especially, I mean, I'm fascinated by workmanship, by how they, their li life, life, livelihood, how just a livelihood, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the mastery of people who created statues. Obviously, I have two more pieces here in my studio. One is uh, from Spain and another one from Indianapolis Museum of Art, actually uh, created by a German, uh, by a German sculptress who studied with Rodin. Oh. And uh, so anyway, my, uh, I, I, I just visited Louvre and of course I saw Venus, I always go vi visit her. Um, and then I stumbled upon very unknown statue of Jesus and that was really, uh, I, a few artists were sitting and drawing the statue. There's still a lot of wrong things about this uh, st statue. It's, it has, the body is really big on that Jesus. So that's why I'm still trying to figure out kind of the right proportion. When I measure it, everything looks right. But when I look at it, it still <laughs> needs some <laughs> adjustment and some work. Mm. So, so now on this table, I have just a few little pieces which I have been working on. Obviously, I've, I've been driving around and I see beautiful how, uh, houses with the sunlight and the beautiful pink trees around it. So um, this I did from a photo, this little watercolor yesterday, which I want to turn into oil. But this little oil I did on location and but as I was ready to admire it, it blew, the wind blew and uh, blew it face down. So I didn't finish it. There has to be a tree in front of it and the dappled lining of the tree, that's what attracted me in this, um, in the, in this scene. But I was waiting until I was told by my oil painting friends, but when it dries, the little speckles of the sand should fall off. So I'm waiting for that and hopefully it will work. So here are a few more pieces from which I did recently in oil and uh, another piece, actually older piece from watercolor and um, I am really, like I said, I've been spending a lot of time with oils, but this morning I thought, oh, I need to get back to watercolor just for the, for the practice of it, you know, when you don't use it, you'll lose it. Mm. And uh, I really should not be switching all the way to oil because I do love the immediacy and the beauty of the watercolor and watercolor on canvas. So I will let Jana kind of go around the all right, so say hi to Jeff Kennedy. He's here. Hi, so it's great to see you. Hope all is well. And Sue Ann is a big cheerleader today. She says, you're born for live video. You're doing a great job. Thank you so much, everybody. And she loves your scarf. Sylvia Gray, she's my friend on Facebook. And um, she makes beautiful. She's watching from Scottsdale, and Dan is also logged in and watching from his home here in Indy. So let's we'll do a tour here. Yeah, we do a little tour, and 
these are some, and I guess I still show. Oh, I forgot to talk about my mm, okay, my uh, Venice painting, but maybe I need to turn this down a little bit because you me. So, yeah, the Venice paintings are also my newer pieces. I did this watercolor with a friend from Moscow as a demo to her how to paint watercolors. I have a lot of photos of Venice from my trip there but I was absolutely enamored by this, uh, by, by the photo she had and uh, the serenity of these gondolas waiting for their ride, I guess, in the, on the background of the busy canal and the hustling and bustling of it just was, and the old buildings uh, really attracted me in this picture, in, in the photo. So this was done from the photo. And then in the studio, I painted an oil of the same, piece so as you know a lot of times uh, I um, I do something in watercolor and then I say I translate it into oil um, Sabrina yeah. Scott loves the Venice ones yeah thank you so um, some of the pieces of course my figurative work here and some of you who were like Sabrina who was in my she came in in December to my open house that's how we met and almost went to Paris together. <laughs> so she probably saw some of this work. Um, here's another piece from, kind of inspired by the fields of Stuttgart of Germany and Indiana Farm together. And Heather Banesh says, hi, you look great and are rocking the live feed. Hi, Heather. <laughs> Sabrina is sad about missing out on Paris. Yeah, I know, Sabrina. Maybe in the future it is for us. So this drawing is of the same statue in a Stepona, Spain, and I did it on location. And then I obviously I painted this in watercolor on canvas. Uh, like I said, I just love statues. And I thought the turn of her head was just absolutely stunning in, in the statue, and I tried to um, convey that. This painting, and actually I do have more paintings of Indianapolis, which are in the hallway, but we're not going to go there. Mm. You understand, I will post it on my Facebook and remind you of those. I have a few paintings in the hallway at Stutz, which are not here. And, uh, but this painting was in the Fuji Salon show last year. I was Again, a little story always with it goes with it. I was driving to my studio to paint to work on commission, and I was getting Starbucks on Capitol <laughs> Avenue, and then it is just the scene, uh, the skyline and the construction, the the all the um, the texture of it of construction, tr uh, whatever vehicle and the cones and everything just totally took my breath away actually and I painted it from my car as I do a lot in my of my watercolors. Greg just logged in. Say hi Greg. Hi Greg. Greg who? Is it Greg? Greg Smith? Osland. Greg Osland. Oh, I missed you guys. So a few more pieces from Indianapolis of Alabama Street. Again a watercolor which was in another show in Richmond, Indiana, and then an oil painting which I did later some floral pieces and I guess you can um, I already spoke about that statue from Indianapolis Museum of Art these are my couple of newer floral pieces which I think uh, when I post pictures of it they really don't give um, justice to the painting I, I do think this painting is quite nice um, She's I right. I actually wanted it's to nice. say point noise. I've been <laughs> listening to BBC News too much and I want to imitate English accent. Point noise, how English would say. Uh, again, actually, the bouquet I collected in Stuttgart in, near Bosner, and the, uh, people from Stuttgart know it is my favorite art, uh, art store, my Mecca in Germany, and I painted them in watercolor and then I did this watercolor on canvas. So Indianapolis, um, Illinois Street in the rain, 
which was inspired by the picture which took my, my daughter took from the atrium and I did a couple of versions of it. Parisian New Generation. A girl, uh, I obviously it was done from the photo and this one is in oil. I had a watercolor of it as well. London Rain. And then another floral piece, which actually was a demo to my class from Life, from a Life Connected. Okay. Hi, Laura. Sorry, I never replied to your message yet, but I was going to, and I was happy to hear from you, Laura Campbell. And actually, yeah, this, the, the, this, the painting, this was my second version. I know Jim and Diane Stewart own a first version of this scene of the wine tasting in Paris. And um, this is the second version. So I think we almost, maybe I want to highlight actually two more pieces, actually three more pieces. This is a piece from uh, uh, Korchula, from the island of Korchula in um, uh, Croatia, which I also did on location. Actually, did on location. And this is my Toby, mm. who was sleeping in my studio. Unfortunately, Toby doesn't get to come these days because of quarantine, and he's not allowed in the studio as well. So he's home. And this is actually a waitress in Paris. And that's now looking at it, I remind, it reminds me that I'm supposed to take a, make a print for her and send it to mm -hmm. her. I did a painting of her from my trip in November, but actually I reconnected with her this, in my recent trip. Um, she's very French and very composed and very, uh, how do you say, just, just composed and not very funny, but very, <laughs> very cute. And, uh, I just love the cafe she works, which is uh, it's called La Chat Chen. Chen? La, La Ch yeah, the quiet cat or something. So, anyway, this is my studio and my um, hopefully Indy 500 will happen in August. August. And I was invited to be a part of the rep party in August 1st. These are my prints of a commission I did for Steve from my uh, Ron Weber. Uh, but I'm going to be doing some more paintings of indie cars. And actually I should be doing it next month kind of to commemorate mm -hmm. indie cars. So I do have a lot of prints, some prints available from existing pieces. And sometimes I even my London piece, I cropped it in the, in the print because I thought it was also a very good composition. So these are all good Jacle prints uh, made on a very good archival paper with, I mean, which captured even the texture of the oil. And they are also available on, on, the, on the canvas. I can put that on the canvas. So anyway, I don't want to bore you guys anymore, I guess. I don't know how long have we been live now. A while. Mm -hmm. A while. So yeah. I think I will let you all get back to this beautiful Sunday. At least it is beautiful in Indiana. Thank you for all of you from Germany who stayed up, up late to join me. And like I said, um, I will be, please send me feedback of this, ideas of how I can promote my art. If you are interested in anything you saw today, you want to commission me a piece please I uh, please also contact me of course and I hope it will not be too long when I can have at least some of you who live here in Indianapolis back in my studio right? the first time I mean the, the first opportunity I will have to have people at studs I will have just to have a glass of wine and even I know myself as an extrovert kind of I think I do spend a lot of time in, um, uh, how, how do I forgot the word now. I mean, alone, going to the in, so, in, in solitude, in solitary state. That's the word I'm looking for. I do miss my friends and my customers and, and all of you. So, and I'm so happy I traveled to Germany in February when I could see my son and my friends here in, um, in February. 
Jen Marie said she was enjoying some German Riesling while watching. Thank you, Jen Marie. <laughs> Hopefully we'll have that rosé next time yeah. I'm in, in Germany and in Stuttgart and we'll have time to... So anyway, thank you so much for being here with us today. We will improve the next time. And cheers. And I will see you all sometime live. Really live.